today's video, we're taking a look at Numo ADHD. It's a task management app that tailors for ADHD, and it's described on their website as the first cringe-free ADHD app for adults. We're going to take a look at this application, whether it's suitable for you, and some insight about other ADHD apps. If you're in the hunt for ADHD apps in general, you can jump over to Toolfinder. We added about 50 of them over the last week that you can explore and find the perfect one for your ADHD. So as you can see here, this application is really nice looking. First and foremost, it's got a fun, fun friendly feel to it. And when I set up the onboarding, whilst it was fairly lengthy, took me about two or three minutes to get through, I was pretty impressed by how you basically understood how the application worked before going into the app. And that whole feel and experience goes throughout the application. And what's really nice is the focus is on tasks, but reminders, and the ability to do daily routines as well, which I was fairly impressed with. Now, getting started with the application, you have to create a username because there is a community element to this app, which means you can chat with other people. But to my knowledge, that's pretty much the locked part behind the premium. This application doesn't really limit you to the amount of premium you have in terms of the tasks, but it will naturally uh, have some limitations when it comes to collaborating with other people. And that's where I believe the premium is probably more suitable for. Throughout this application, you have an incentive to do rewards, and rewards are basically a way for you to earn credits on your account, XP, that helps build your score and unlocks things like themes and customizations inside the settings. Now, it's really nice because that's sort of an incentive and weaved into the whole ADHD methodology around this app. And there is a today area where you can start adding tasks really easily. You can either quickly capture them or you can actually add them as a public or private task. This is set default as public, so just be aware of that. But you can break a task down into small, medium, large, or extra large, a little bit like we did with Bento, and tags as well as other abilities as well. Now, as you complete tasks, you will unlock things across the account, which means you can unlock things like colors, which give you um, nicer covers inside of your today area. Now, you can complete tasks by ticking them off. You can plan by going ahead and clicking upcoming, as well as seeing routine items as well. Now, there is a streak ability in here. Whilst that's not necessarily a habit tracking ability, it allows you to keep track of what ones you're keeping on routinely. Now, the application has the ability to start a timer on each of your tasks, and there's a wicked ability once you're in task to scroll across and start other timers for new tasks you're working on. But this brilliant focus mode helps you to keep on task and in the zone when working on the items. You can also use a manual reordering function or an AI reordering function, which smartly changes the order of your tasks to be completed in, which is a really neat feature. There's also a backlog ability where you can quickly brain dump items in and an item that I'll show you a bit later on that I was pretty impressed with. Now, largely the chats are pretty much locked under the premium abilities, so I won't show you that because that's more of a community element, something we don't cover as much here on Toolfinder. However, there were additional things in Discover Area, like the course that you're on, which educates you about how to embrace procrastination in ADHD and whatever your onboarding set up. Now, the pricing was around £59.99 for the year, which is fairly reasonable if you're looking for a really basic task management app and one that really embraces ADHD. There were some other abilities I was impressed with, like the routine area for seeing daily, weekly habits that broke it down in a really approachable manner. You've also got widgets in settings. And there was a super cool feature called brain dump tasks with your voice, which used my voice to quickly add a bunch of tasks and worked in a similar way than structured app, which I was very impressed with, allowing me to add tasks using my voice and then simply add them to my today area. Now, in general, this application had a really nice feel to it. It really made it simple to find tasks and reduce cognitive overload. And a lot of people who are living with ADHD typically find these sort of applications much more approachable and easier to use. We found that when we created the Bento app that the simplicity of the application really did help the focus of those individuals using it. So I was very impressed with Numo, and it will be an application that I'll be checking out in the future and keeping an eye on. You can get it linked below and check out all the ADHD apps over on Toolfinder.